Welcome to another Tech Guru video. Hey guys, sorry it's been a few days since my last video post. Been kind of busy. I uh, just wanted to do a quick tutorial here in Adobe Illustrator CS5. Today we're going to be talking about clipping masks. Um, these can be used for a number of things, but I'm just going to show you a brief tutorial on how to create them, and I'm going to let your creative minds decide exactly how you will do that. So right now I have the rounded rectangle tool selected. I'm going to draw a simple rounded rectangle here, and I'm going to change the fill color to something that we can see a little better, a bright green. Next, I'm going to draw a ellipse, or if I hold down the shift key, a perfect circle. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to change the fill color of that circle to a different color. A blue would be nice. And I'm going to go back to my black arrow tool here. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag the circle over the green rounded rectangle. I'm going to select both of them here and put them in the center so we can get a better view of them there. So now I have two shapes. I have one blue, just regular circle, and then a light green colored rounded square here. Now, this is good when you want to form perfect shapes um, and sometimes you can do this by using clipping masks. So essentially what this clipping mask is going to do, I'm going to have both objects selected. Okay, so make sure you take your selection tool, select both objects there. And when I do the clipping mask and go to clipping object clipping mask make, it's going to, this little shape right here, the little circle here, whatever is covering on both objects is what's going to remain. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to object, I'm going to go to Clipping Mask down here, and I'm going to go to Make, or I could just hit Command 7 if I was a Mac, and I believe it's Control 7 if you're on a Windows machine. So I'm going to click Make. As you can see there, this is what's left over. Whatever was overlapping and whatever item was in the back is what's going to be left over. I'm going to click off. So as you can see there, that made me a little shape there that I would not have made unless I did a clipping mask. So I can select the clipping mask now, and if I wanted to remove the stroke, I should have, there's ways to doing it, but to make it life easier, I would always remove the strokes or add strokes prior to making the clipping mask. So I can hit Command Z here, and then I'll go up here and take my stroke down to zero. That has no stroke there. Then I'm gonna go back, go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And then I'm gonna select off, and that just, gives me this little shape here that I can move around and it'll it'll just be this shape here. So that's just a little tutorial on clipping masks. They're very easy, very simple, but when trying to get in and do exact shapes, uh, you know, if you have a creative mind, you can always find ways of, of doing that. And you can also do that with uh, with any other object that is selectable in, uh, in Illustrator. So if I have text here and then I type in uh, tech, right there, I type in tech and then I just click off of that and then I have another I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this drag it down here so if I drag this word over that word there and then select both I can go object clipping mask make and that's just gonna leave you know like just a totally ridiculous shape there I, I didn't I knew it wasn't gonna make a shape but that that would be what would be left whatever is overlapping will always be left so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out there so you can do it with text you can do it with things that you've drawn with a pen tool you can do it with shapes uh, any color you want uh, and it's just a really neat tool to use when you're trying to come up with uh, different kind of shapes so guys I appreciate it uh, thank you for watching another tech guru video uh, questions um, comments are welcome please uh, send me a message on Twitter uh, thank you for watching again and uh, see you next time